I'm an addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. What's good? What's good? Back up in the building. It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show. We're gonna review a brand new pair of Mellows right here. These are the Mellow Tens. The color on these is Anthracite, Jim Red, Black, and White. And these retail for 165 bucks. Releasing in a couple of weeks. So enough with the box. You see what it is? Paper. We got the shoes. Let's get into this review. Bye. All right, so here we go with a close-up look at these brand new Mellows right here. These, in my opinion, the quality's on point, just like last time with those blues that released a couple of weeks ago. This is the second colorway, and they kept the new book. They give us a nice new book in this anthracite. As you see, you got your perforations. You got your hits of red also up top. It's like a fabric material up top. You got your layer of black right there. Also a new buck. As you can see the midsole right there, you've got your midsole here and then here, and then you've got your head of your plate there. And then on the bottom, you see the actual flight plate right there. So we're going right to the bottom on these, which is, you know, a big part of this shoe is this flight plate right there. And a lot of people say this shoe reminds them of the 28. I see that also. Definitely has that look. There's a look at the front, got your toe, turn it around, and you've got your M for Melo. You got your black laces, they got kind of like a little bit of a gloss to them. A little bit of a gloss, it looks more glossy on camera though than in person though. Because I'm looking at the actual screen, it looks mad glossy on my screen, but it's really not as glossy. But it got a little gloss to it. You got your Jordan Jumpman in red right there. The tongue is like a fabric material. There's the inner rubber of the shoe. There's the back of the shoe. You got your pull strap with your logo right there. And then you've got your heel cup. And it says mellow on the heel cup. And I hate that they put this fade black to this silver. I don't know why they can't just make it silver. It would have been 20 times hotter. It looks like it's an error. I don't like that. I don't know why they um are doing that with the shoe. I think that's a terrible look. Whoever's idea that is, <laughs> terrible idea. I'll give you a thumbs down in the fart noise. <laughs> Not a good look right there. Besides that, this is a hot shoe right here. As far as the fit on the Mellows, I would say to go either true to size or go up half a size. They're kind of snug and they're very narrow. So if you are one of them dudes that got a wide foot, I would say just go up half a size. Definitely. I think they look good on feet though. That's my opinion. You know, people love the mellow shoe. Some hate the mellow shoe. Kind of like the basketball player. Some love him, some hate him. I like mellow. I just think that he needs to step it up just a little bit. I think he got way more potential than what he's showing. But the talent is through the roof. I just think he's not showing all of his talent. I think he's not playing to his full potential. We'll see where he goes next year. I have a big feeling he's not gonna be staying with the Knicks. The way that things are going with the Knicks, especially with the coaching, with Mike Woodson, it's a hot mess right now. Any Knicks fan right now is listening to me and vibing right now. They know exactly what I'm talking about. They understand that it's just a hot mess over there. And we'll see if he does go to another team, we'll, we'll Will he deliver, you know? Because this is going to be now him going to another team. We'll see. And by the way, these shoes were designed by Tinker. And you already know I'm setting it up. Setting it up. We close. We close to the camera. You know what time it is. Time for that infamous. Birds <laughs> All right, so there you go. You got your detailed look at the brand new Mellow 10 in this new colorway, this anthracite red and black colorway right here. In my opinion, the shoe is dope. I think people are really warming up to this one. At first, they were kind of like, eh, but now people are kind of warming up to it. The one thing that I do not like about this shoe 
is this back. I don't really like the fading. It looks like it's kind of like an error in the factory. But besides that, pretty hot shoe. Definitely looks dope on feet too. Leave your comments in the box. Hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing. Show that love. It motivates me to keep doing more and more episodes. A lot of work filming these episodes, but I don't mind as long as everyone's enjoying and watching and showing that love. So show that love. I'll keep filming and editing. And make sure to catch up on all the reviews. Review these. Reviewed a bunch of other shoes. Look in the description box below. And also, and also, make sure to also go to my blog, thesneakerattic.com, for your sneaker news, news on release information, restock information, all that good stuff, thesneakerattic.com. I was able to help a lot of people with getting the Jordan Powder Blue 3s that sold out. There was a bunch of restocks in the past couple of days. I was able to look out for a lot of people and also help people out with getting them Bobcat 9s. So if you're not going to the blog at least once a day, you're missing out. Go to thesneakerattic.com. Come and with that said, I'll be back. Really, really. City to city, hear us banging through your speakers, fresh to death, oh, always with the illest sneakers, wavy as fuck, these, these bitches thirsty in the club and they ready